what's going on YouTube welcome back to the main mode show so as you can see I'm scratching my head right now because I just thought of something stupid right you go buy a new car at a dealership right doesn't matter if you finance it lease it uh pay it off in cash debit card credit card whatever you just you know buy it out right whatever doesn't matter right you end up getting the new car guess what doesn't matter if you lease it finance or buy it outright the price isn't it's including the price is things like dock fees trent you know shipping handling type fees uh shipping fees or transportation transportation fees right to transfer the you know the car from wherever it was made to your local dealership right okay so let me tell you something i'm a ford guy right i'm a ford fanatic now that has nothing against any other vehicle it does so if you want to buy a chevy or a Dodge, you know, a Ford or whatever type of vehicle that might be made in your country, right? Like I live in the United States. So Ford, Chevy, and Dodge started in America and are based out of, in America, right? I know there's a lot of controversy about like Chevy and Dodge wanting to move to China and Ford talked about moving to Mexico but didn't and none of them really moved on any of those plans as far as i know right but my thing is is ford's made in detroit michigan that's about 75 percent of the way across the country from where i'm at so they load all their cars trucks suvs vans and all that shit onto big ass trains and ship that son of a bitch cross country right my thing is, is why the fuck should we have to pay for domestic cars that are made in America? Like, because car dealerships have to have cars in order to sell them and make money for themselves in the manufacturing company and shit, right? Now, I can understand if you ordered something like a Lamborghini or Ferrari from Italy or wherever... And they had to send it on a ship to the United States or Canada or wherever. And to get to your dealership or wherever, right? Then I can understand you have to pay like an extra 300 bucks, 500 bucks, 1000 but whatever it might be. But at the same, you know. And I know we have like Toyota dealer uh, manufacturing plants and Honda and all this other shit now in the United States. But I wouldn't really want to buy those because they didn't start in the United States and I know that would sound that sounds really arrogant on my part I understand that but I've never really been attracted to those types of vehicles I've always been kind of attracted to American muscle like the Pontiac GTO the, sh the old 70 73 split bumper Chevy Camaros the old Dodge Chargers and Challengers, the old Mustangs, right? You know, the old Pontiac Firebirds and, you know, the the Cudas and the Plymouth Cudas and, you know, or the Ford F-150s, 250s, 350s, the Ford Rangers, shit like that. So that's, you know, I'm an American muscle and truck type guy. That's just the way I am. And that's nothing against any other types of people that like other types of cars. But my thing is, is I understand, you know, they have to pay the train company, you know, whether it's Union Southern Pacific, Union Pacific or BNSF or whoever it might be to transport that many cars from one place to the next but maybe that's the reason why it's only like three or four hundred bucks just because they transport so many vehicles at one time you know and so that way it would be 
you know, 300 bucks for transportation fees compared to it being like 10 or 15 thousand dollars per car, but at the same time, it's kind of like you know, you're in the market to you know, sell, make and sell cars, and you have to get your cars to dealerships in order for people to buy them. So, why charge your customer who wants to buy your car your shipping cost right it's like you know i sometimes work in a retail store right like i am right now the boss pays the shipping right or the owner of the store pays for the shipping right but that's normal because that's like you know you're not you don't have an account with yeah, anyway, y'all know what I'm fucking talking about. I'm just rambling at this point. Anyways, love y'all. Be safe. Catch you.